Time. The heat is on in North Texas, which has many wondering how to get on with life while also staying cool. CBS 11's Nicole Jacobs is live along the Katy Trail, where people got an early start to their workouts. Nicole. Yes, Russ, and you've got about another hour or so to get outside if you want to enjoy it before the heat and humidity are absolutely unbearable. Just before the blistering sun rises, yes, we got one last round of warm ups. Camp Gladiator is already on the go. Every time you kick, it counts as one. They're the ones beating the heat, knowing full well what July in Texas really means. By getting out before the uh, sun starts baking everything. The heat index this afternoon, a whopping 105. That's enough for Katie Trail runners to have jugs of water on their hip and in their hands. No school bell, but an early wake up call if you want to go for a bike ride with dad or a run as a fam. Oh, it's much harder, much, much harder with the humidity. The Moonies are taking it easy today, a short 30 minute run, they say. But with mom as a cross country coach, hydration is key. It's really the day before you run that's the most important. And of course, we can't forget our four legged friends. They'll appreciate an early, cooler start, too. Because ask dad if he's enjoying the heat, he'll tell you. No, I'm ready for fall already. <laughs> All right, I promise you, just a couple of minutes ago, the trail was packed here, but it's not now. MedStar tells us the crews have uh, treated. 40 people with heat related illnesses. Eight of those were in serious or critical condition. Uh, so, the best word of advice if you have to be outside in the heat is to take frequent breaks, hydrate, and of course, avoid overexerting yourself. We're live in Dallas. Nicole Jacobs, CBS 11 News.